Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the State Palace Theater, great venue here in New Orleans for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense end. Opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. Well, Tyson sees this just about every time he steps into the ring. He's up against a taller man here. Yeah, but he also understands that once he starts getting close, guess what? That guy becomes a midget. Gets rid of that body shot. Tyson's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Gets rid of that effort. Tyson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Halfway through this round here. There's a straight right hand. Super two punch combo by Mike Tyson. Lewis is tagged by a huge hook to the body. Way to block there. Good job on the two punch combo by Lewis. Ten seconds to go in this round. And we come to the end of round number one. Tyson's pure aggression got to his opponent in that last round. He looks fresh, his opponent doesn't. The old one-two scores for him. Good one, two by Lewis. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Get him, get him. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Committing up top now, he goes there again. Halfway through round number two. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Parries that punch intended for the head. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut? Look at that. Great work there. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Lewis. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Little volume punching to the body there. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Able to get rid of that one. And round number three is underway. Mike Tyson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Good way to protect the midsection.
now he scores well with a straight right. Now he's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Oh, what an exchange! Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Well placed hook. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Unable to make an impact there by Mike Tyson. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Takes a step back, then the counterpunch by Lewis. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Here you go. Tyson's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Mike Tyson. see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, It landed well. Well, we were talking about getting into the kitchen. He went in there and he tore apart that kitchen. <laughs> Lewis's combination punching is working well here. Seconds to go in the fourth. Mike Tyson's got to find a way to take what he just did in that last round and keep that kind of energy moving forward here because I do believe he's ahead on the scorecards in a close fight, very close fight. Yeah, I see it about the same way, but you just said it. It's very important that his corner people now don't really tell him that he's ahead. I think they let him think that if he's not behind, it's a dead even fight, and keep pushing, keep pushing right there. Stay responsible, stay within yourself, but keep pushing. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Being smart on the outside. Very good work with that power hand right there. Good, strong, straight shot. So effective as a power shot. Yeah, it is. And he's pivoting into it. Look at the way he's turning on his foot. And he's putting his back into it. Beautiful. A solid true uppercut by Lewis. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. 
He gets off with a combination up top. On the mark, the counter punch by Mike Tyson. Body shot, the left hand. A little head hunting with the right. Tyson's puts forth a little boom, 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 a three punch combination scoring. He digs into the body again. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. And that's the end of round five. Lewis is now returning to his corner where they're gonna have to deal with that cut. You gotta watch the water in the corner. In the Halfway through the scheduled rounds here. Good scoring shot, it was a straight right. And Tyson with a block punch. Firing off the uppercuts, great exchange. Well-placed body shot again. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Way through round six. To the head he goes with a left hand. Good defensive skill. His right hand scores well. Right to the belt line. Lewis is showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Boy, another solid round for him. Teddy, this is one of the best displays of precision punching we've ever seen. And if precision had a relative, had a cousin, guess who it would be? It would be timing, because the timing has been perfect and has allowed him to be so precise. combination by Mike Tyson. A little head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. A knifing left hand by Lewis. Now he's targeting upstairs at the halfway point of round seven. Tyson's showing you a little defensive skill there. I go move away from that punch. Lewis is cut, is not looking good at all. I'm getting the sense that this fight could be stopped at any moment. So the key is where the cut is. When the referee brings the doctor up to look at it, he's gonna look at whether or not getting worse will imperil his health down the road. Tyson's 
doing well, sticking to a game plan on the outside. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. More than one punch down. Wow, no doubt about it, affected by that right hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here. Did you see that? He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? The tempo of this fight has not been too taxing or demanding on him, and with that, he's been able to control things throughout. We start round number eight, you see the lead that's on your scorecard. Now, if he was a farmer, you know, farmers work hard. If he was a farmer, he had an easy day. I mean, there was a lot of low-laying fruit, you know, on the bottom branches of the tree. Why go to the top branches? Just take what's down there, and that's exactly what he's done all night. He missed with that headshot. Lewis's recuperative ability is being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, for the doctor to know that he does have those kind of recuperative powers. So they give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the ref gives him a little more time than he gives somebody else. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Lewis. Blood now from the nose of Mike Tyson. The halfway point of round number eight. He has his target, he lands a straight right. Lewis is left, working well that time. Committing to the head work, you see him go there again. A solid left hand by Lewis. Lewis has got a bloody nose right now. I don't know if it's broken, but the bottom line is it's going to be a distraction. Left hook, right hand, well done, especially to the body. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. was yet another round where he just looked like the fresher, better conditioned fighter. And here in these later stages of this fight, that's where you get the payoff. Well, the payoff is what we heard. We heard about coming into this fight that in training camp they were doing five minute rounds. We heard that, Joe. Not three minute, five minute rounds. He's getting the benefit right now of that. What a shooting hook that was by Lewis. You see, he's committed to that body work. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Lewis has got a little something coming back at him. A counterpunch scored. That's a stinging right hand by Lewis. Lewis is behind on the cards. He's just got to be. Going to take a knockout to win this? Yeah, I think so. It's going to take a certain kind of attitude or strategy, a change in strategy. You go into the fights, you don't look for a knockout. You're looking to use your jab, you're looking to set up punches, you're looking to go rounds. Right now, he's got to find a way to get a knockout. Look for one punch. One big punch right now. Accurate jab brings the right hand. Big uppercut right on the mark. gonna think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter targeting that belt line with the right hand pulls the trigger fast Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Goes up top with a right hand.
No turning back now. Tenth round is upon us. Last round of the fight. Blocks that belt line well. Fine looking right hand by Mike Tyson. that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Now this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just the sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. <laughs> Commits to the straight right. In the crosshairs of a right hand, left hook combination. Flush right hand to the head. Smart counter punch by Lewis. Basic but beautiful. Jab right hand. Big shot. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in. He did get it. He got it. Well played. Straight right hand. See what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Final bell of a fight fan's fight here, but also the kind of fight that you know there's going to be controversy over the score. Yeah, very close. And the kind of fight where you could be influenced different ways depending on what you like in a boxing. You like a guy who's controlling the outside or a guy who goes inside and gets it done downstairs. The verdict is in, so let's send it up to the ring. Well, that was a pretty easy one to see. We saw it that way. The judges saw it that way. Mike Tyson, your winner by decision. Yeah, this was kind of a hard one to mess up. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you, too.